What's going on out there in Low Rider Land? It's your boy Young Hog. Hey, Low Riding is still out there moving. We're going to see what it do. Check that out. But now, I'm on some other shit today still. So, you know, just want to keep giving y'all a little bit of knowledge, shit you need to know. You know, when it, when it, when it goes down, it'll go down, and I'll let you. I'll keep you incited on that. But for people out there that like camping and out there riding your motorcycles and out there in the desert, I just want to hip you guys to some shit because I fucks with everything. Uh, they're cutting off a part of the desert, Mojave Desert. They're finna like cut it off where you guys can't go on your motorcycles. They're going to put fences and shit up. You guys already been hearing about that. So you already know that Young Hog ain't bullshitting on that. They finna cut off the desert on you. Okay, now why they going to cut the desert off? I have no clue, but I do. Now, there's some other shit. About two, three years ago, they started closing down all the parks. You know, they were saying that it was understaffed. They didn't have the money to keep the parks open. They didn't, you know, they, they didn't have enough rangers to go out there and, and, and survey the area, okay? So now, on some real shit, if this is what's going on, then this is a whole bunch of forest land and acreage that is unsupervised. So that means there's no security. So if somebody was living in the middle of a forest or a big park, since we don't have no people out there to regulate, how would we know was anybody in the park? You can go in the middle of the park, nobody's there. You'll just be there. Okay? So, National security, you're leaving our parks wide open. Yeah. For people can go in there, you just, you know, set up a house. It was a man, set up a house in a park, been living there like eight, nine months. Then they went in there, and, damn, you know, you can't do this. So they're not patrolling the parks. But are they? The reason why I say that is, is because even on your own land, Mountain terrain, if you guys notice, all that has been cut off from you. If you have a cave on your own property, you got to get a permit to go in there. Okay, all caves all over the United States. You have to have a permit to go in that cave. Remember back in the days where you just climb in the mountain and go in a cave and try and discover some shit? Okay, you can't discover no shit no more. You can't go in the caves. Okay? Now, the reason why you can't go in the caves, I want you guys to do your research on it. I know why we can't go in caves. Okay? I would never go in no cave any motherfucking way because that, that's just how I get down. Nigga, well, whatever we do, we got to do an open. I ain't crawling in no cave looking for no shit. Okay? All caves... Cannot go in a cave unless you get a federal permit, even if it's on your own land. That's crazy, ain't it? You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot collect rainwater. Huh? You cannot collect any rainwater. It is against the law to collect rainwater. Why? You guys do the research on that, okay? The big thing I'm going to leave you guys with just to fuck your day up and have you on some other shit is, okay, I done told you about the Malaysia flight. Don't nobody believe me. I don't want you to believe me. Please don't. But now, I'm letting you guys know up at the South Pole, there's a barrier up there that all the money in the world can't get through. All the best brains in the world can't get through, and they're frustrated. Okay? There's a war going on at the South Pole that we have no clue what's going on. It's none of our business because we don't have enough money. So, you say, well, damn, if we don't have enough money in Hog, how do you know? I do a lot of reading and a lot of research and a lot of brainstorming, okay? Everything is already laid out for you. 
You just got to know where to look and how to look. Okay? The best way to hide something from somebody is in plain sight. Okay? If we just hide it in plain sight, we ain't got to worry about nobody looking for it because they're going to walk over it three or four times. Then when somebody do discover it, they're going to say, well, that's been there. So pay it no mind. So I just want to let you guys know that little series that was on TV, The Dome. No, nah, man, that wasn't just some writer that sat back and thought of some brilliant ass sitcom or a movie for the week or no, 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 no. They have experienced it. They have ran into a dome that they cannot get into right here. And it's fucking them up. Okay. Do your research. They already been speaking about it and all that. So the war in Syria and all that is really going on, but they want us to focus on that. While they up at the South Pole on some other shit. Okay? So, you guys do your research. Think I'm blowing smoke up your ass. Check it out. You cannot go in the caves no more. You cannot collect rainwater. And they're up there at the South Pole doing some major shit up there that they don't want none of us to know about. Okay? But if you do your research, you'll run into it and you say, damn. Yeah. This is your boy, Young Hog. Food for thought, I do what I do, you do what you do. And again, I ain't never asked nobody to follow me or listen to what the fuck I got to say. So you really don't have to. I'm going to give you some names at the end of this. Check them out. Check out the names at the end of this and see their mysterious deaths and yeah, shit they really had to say. Your boy Young Hog, no chipping, man. Peace.